Welcome back to Auto Technic. Today we're going to do a real quick video showing you how you can measure your impeller in either your Berkeley or Dominator pump so you can determine what size cut you have on it. Now on your pumps you should have an ID tag and you can see here on this Berkeley pump it has the model number and it's stamped with an A. So that does not necessarily tell us what impeller is in the pump. That only tells us what impeller originally came into the pump. You got to keep in mind these things are 40, 50 years old and you don't know what's been done with them in that time. So you can't always go off that label. Unfortunately, the only way you can get the true size of your impeller is you have to pull the bowl off. Now, this pump I have rebuilt and it runs this impeller and it's a stainless impeller and I do know for a fact that this is an A-cut impeller and you determine that by pulling measurements off of the base where the fin is and where the top is. So you pull measurements all the way across. So you're gonna go ahead and pull a measurement like so. And this one's just about seven and a quarter. And I should be about nine across the bottom. So you can see there, and we're right at nine inches. So those are the dimensions that tell me I have an A cut impeller. There's a chart that you can find online that shows you all the different cuts and the different dimensions because sometimes when people do a hybrid dimension, like an AB, meaning one dimension's cut at a, say an A, while the other size, side is cut at say a B. So you can kind of get an in-between impeller. Now, I also have this Dominator pump up here and this actually was a pump that we ran in the boat for years and the boat also was running a 396. Now this one, just like the Berkeley has an ID tag and it was stamped as an A impeller, this pump was what was installed in the boat when we bought it and we were always told it was an A impeller. Now the reason why I pulled the bull off is because I wanted to measure the impeller and that's because the 396 that I was running in the boat, if you look at the horsepower charts and the RPM that I was getting, if in fact this did have an A impeller, that's gonna tell me that that engine made much more power than I thought it did and it's really curiosity. I wanted to know what that setup was making so I can back calculate the approximate horsepower off of the impeller size. So again, pretty much the same thing. The only difference since this is a dominator is we have the rear lip that rides into the bowl. So we have to kind of work around that, the measurement, but you're gonna pull the measurements from the same point up here on the top to the other side. And again, the bottom. Now I already measured that impeller, and again, that one actually, in fact, is an A-cut impeller. We're seven and a quarter on the top, nine inches on the bottom. So indeed, that little 396 that was running that A-cut impeller on this boat, I was churning 5,400 RPM, 5,600 RPM with a big solid roller cam in that engine. Pretty impressive. That engine's long gone. We're going back together with a bigger 496, so I'm curious to see what we can spin this other pump with. So I'll go ahead and post up a picture of the chart that shows you the impeller sizes and the dimensions that you have. But there you go. Now you guys know what you need to do, where you need to measure, and how you can find out what size impeller you have. Unfortunately, you have to have the bowl off. So all you guys that have a setback pump, you have it easy. You can pop the bowl off and easily get a measurement. If you have a traditional pump with a transom cover, you gotta take it all apart to get there. There's really no way around it. Anyways, I appreciate you guys for taking the time to stop by the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Check out my other videos on the jet boat. I got a lot of stuff that we've been covering. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd really appreciate it. For all you guys that have watched, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. See you on the next one.